need a break to focus on some of your other projects or feeling kind of burnt out, here's some of my recommendations. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. And welcome back. I'm actually holding the camera here so it's gonna be moving quite a bit. Didn't, uh, didn't bring my uh, tripod, but this, uh, this office space was really nice. And usually I put some music in the background, but you know, the ambient music here is gonna be <laughs> good for the one today. Um, as far as taking a break, the way I was initially uh, um, planning on taking this, uh, uh, um, um, getting my degree as fast as possible, literally would be take a class if you're not getting the, the minimum um, grade that you're looking for. Uh, by the time you're in the withdrawal period, just drop it and immediately take it again. Now, if you're literally just trying to bullet train through the, uh, the degree, that honestly is the best advice because these courses change so much after, uh, I mean, just a couple of semesters that the, they might change major assignments. So even though you might think, well, if I can take it again, I already have like, you know, two thirds of the class already uh, taken care of. If they change major assignments, you're kind of back to square one anyway. You'll understand the ideas and the concepts. It's not like all, you know, everything's gonna change. It's gonna be the same kind of theory anyway but um, you can't reuse any of your homework. And um, even the assignments that you've done before, they're gonna tweak them in, to a certain point where it's like you're gonna have to just switch everything else to go. And there's people in the back. So I'm in the middle of Bangkok, so it's impossible to find a single place that there's nobody around. So you're gonna see a lot of uh, action. And for whatever reason, right before I started recording, they started uh, washing dishes and just moving stuff around, so. Anyway, that's, um, I can also edit around that. I think that'll be better. Um, so anyway, as far as taking it, uh, um, taking the class again, if it's a foundational course, if it's a course that you really need for uh, your own personal business or whatever, I mean, I do recommend it. Just keep taking it the following semester until you pass it, right? So it's like, I haven't taken uh, machine learning yet, but since it's one of the hardest courses there is, and I need it as, as part of, um, as part of uh, uh, my specialization, I'm literally going to take it and keep taking it until I, I get, um, you know, the passing grade. So in, in that kind of instance, I mean, it's a little bit different. But if you're really just feeling burnt out, and because I've done this, I've 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 literally withdrawn for a course and then immediately trying to uh, um, try to get the next semester. Um, I highly recommend against that. When you're getting burnt out, it's just you're getting information overflow. Really what they're going to be doing is they're going to be showing you how um, you're going to be seeing how intricate your knowledge has to be in that particular class. And that's why you're getting burnt out because you're thinking, well, I have almost like an intermediate level um, in this particular area and that's just not going to be enough. They're going to, you know, ask you for something so much more. Like I've mentioned many times, you're expected to already be an expert in these courses, not you know, somebody who's going into it fresh. There's gonna be very, very few classes that you can go in there with a beginner or no knowledge of the programming language uh, altogether. 